it's really hard to actually quantify that question because we have um, some sense of the numbers of people that attended the show and we know that was in the millions, some um, two and a half million people just in the summer of 87 alone in London. Um, but then there was kind of the collateral um, impacts. Uh, the show had a massive uh, marketing effort so even for the countless people who didn't get, actually get to the show ground they would have seen uh, posters and images and newspaper coverage of, of the exhibition um, it would have been ubiquitous uh, when a show when the show came through town. Buffalo Bill and the popular media, whether it was through dime novels or newspapers, um, could uh, sort of lay the groundwork for the show wherever they were going to go, and uh, people would be familiar with this kind of iconography, all of these images. Um, and then when the show came through town, um, people would show up in mass. Uh, so really, um, it's hard to imagine somebody living in uh, Western Southern Europe between 80, 1887 and 1906 not being exposed to uh, the kind of circulating images of the popular frontier that uh, came from the show. They took great pains to um, uh, cast actual um, people from the frontier, whether it was the cowboys, the Mexican vaqueros, or of co course the show Indians, the, uh, who were all um, recruited from um, Plains Indians tribes, mostly Lakota, Sioux. They did have a, a very um, sophisticated marketing team, a uh, team of publicists that uh, aggressively promoted the show um, before it would arrive anywhere uh, while it was there. Um, and then there was clearly an appetite for this, especially in the, the early tours. Um, as I said, it was something that people had never seen before. It was truly a novel experience and um, people really responded to it. You got to think about this uh, post-bellum moment. The Civil War has come to an end and while we are one country um, politically, uh, legally, in fact culturally we are nothing uh, like that. We're still um, not unified and uh, part of the kind of project for America in the late 19th century is um, how to imagine a more unified um, more coherent nation. So that uh, is happening all over the place in literature and culture. And one thing that the frontier as an image, as a story, as a myth affords is this kind of unifying idea. So Buffalo Bill's Wild West capitalize on that, capitalizes on it. They call themselves America's national entertainment and they claim to embody something uh, uniquely kind of essentially American.